Hi there and welcome to our next lesson in our final physics topic P6, uh, electricity for gadgets and today we're going to be looking at generators and how we can use kinetic energy to convert into electrical energy. Okay, uh, so we're going to start off with our objectives and here they are. Okay, so let's have a look at our objectives for our lesson 6 on generators. So by the end of this lesson, you should know and understand how generators are able to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. Now, generating electricity uses a method called induction. And what we're going to do is have a look at induction in a moment. However, in the UK, electricity is generated at a frequency of 50 Hertz. Now this means that the electricity goes backwards and forwards at a rate or a frequency of 50 times a second and that's what we understand as our AC frequency. Okay so what we're going to look at first of all is electromagnetic induction. Now what we're going to do is induce a current. So we start off here with a magnet where we've got our north and our south poles and then we have connected to it a ammeter that can record the current. Now if we press play what that will do is it will move the magnet in. Now as the magnet's been moved in you can see that the current changes. So press play. Then as it's moved out it goes in the opposite direction because you've got the change in the movement. So let's play it going in and then play it coming out, it changes that direction. So the current will be induced when the magnet moves into the coil and only when the magnet is moving. So we press play, you get the movement, you get the current. When there's no movement like there is now, then we get the uh, no currents. So when the magnet's in the coil there's nothing and it's only when the current is moving, or sorry, when the magnet is moving that we get a current. So what will happen when you move the magnet out of the wire? Again we have seen that it moves the current in the opposite direction. Okay, so the current is induced in the coil in the opposite direction and if you reverse the direction then you reverse the direction of the current. So, Okay, so how can we generate an alternating current? Now we've seen that when we go in and then out we change the direction of the current and that means that we're generating an alternating current. Now the voltage will depend at which the rate in which the field changes. So it could be that a quick movement can cause a higher voltage. Okay, so should we have a look at how an AC generator itself might work? Okay, so here is our AC generator. Now we've got our magnetic field and we've got our coil of wire going round. Now what we need to do is we need to ensure that we get that movement around, oh sorry, movement of the coil around through the magnetic field. Now it works in a very similar way but reverse to a DC motor. Now this time we have slip rings here in red and brushes here in blue. Now that means that we get that constant supply of electricity. So as the coil is moving around this way, it's changing the connection with the slip ring and the brush. Now the brushes make contact with the slip rings, enabling the current to continually flow in this direction. So they're in contact with each other so that as they go around and the current changes every half cycle, so as we get one half, one half cycle there or one half cycle there, the current's going to change. So the connection between the slip rings 
and the brush is essential for maintaining that connection or that direct or that alternating current between the two. Okay, so we have looked at how we can get electromagnetic induction uh, to generate our uh, in, or induce our voltage so that we can um, get a, a current running through the wire and that means that we have to move a coil around a magnet or a magnet into a coil and what that will do is it will cause the electrons to move and therefore we have a potential difference and therefore a current. Now we've then looked at how the uh, AC generator works by having the, the brushes and the slip rings and how that, that's able to generate that alternating current around the circuit. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.